hi, hi, hello. Um, welcome. So today I thought I would do what I set out to do about like two years ago, which was to kind of review a whole series in one go. Not in a vloggy style um, kind of a way, but you know, I talk you through each book and then kind of summarize my thoughts and feelings for it because I'm so good at that. Yeah. So I have the land of stories. Um, I have the six books that comprises the land of stories series. Now, saying that, uh, and I don't have all the facts as of yet, but there are like a bunch of companion novels, which I think have like short stories kind of things in them. I haven't read them yet. There are a lot and they're also kind of expensive. So I haven't gotten around to them yet, but I probably will, I'm not gonna lie. And then I do believe there's like a kind of spin-off series that takes place in the land of stories, but with different characters. This is, this is the idea I'm getting. This is, I don't actually know because I haven't actually looked into it, because <laughs> I, I I don't really like to read blurbs and stuff unless I do that made no sense uh, so I don't know but as far as I can see it's like a spin-off the land of stories but different characters or something like that we shall see but this is the land of stories which is a complete series well, it is now. <laughs> I mean, for all it's worth, it could like start doing more books just because the hell of it. But yeah, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that in a little bit. Let me just turn that off. Take another sip of coffee. Yeah. So we have six books in this series, which is, the first one is The Wishing Spell. Very glary day. We have sunshine from somewhere, so yeah. This is the first book, The Wishing Spell, in which we get to know the twins that are Alex and Connor Bailey. I mean, they thought they were just normal twins that had lost their father and all that jazz, but it turns out there's some magic in their blood. Uh, they go, very accidentally, they go on their very first adventure into the book, into the land of stories. And basically, they need to find a way home. And the only way home they seem to be able to find is through the wishing spell. Uh, so they go on an adventure, collecting a bunch of things to do this wishing spell. Um, and that's basically book one. So basically what the land of stories is, it's basically a whole land full of, you know, the stories that we know and love, but with a twist here and there. So we have Sleeping Beauty, we have Snow White, we have Little Riding Hood, we have uh, Cinderella, we Jack and the Beanstalk, loads and loads of characters. Um, some you meet in the beginning, some you meet along the way, and you get, you know, get to know. And the characters are so different. Well, they're, they're the same, but they're so different from the ones we know from, you know, Disney and stories. And then we move on to blah, 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 blah. And then we move on to book number two, and it is The Enchantress Returns. The, these glares, wow. So in this book, the Enchantress that cursed Sleeping Beauty is back with a revenge. So yeah, basically it's up to Connor and Alex to stop her. Why them, you ask? Good question. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, 
because that will be a massive massive spoiler they also kind of figure out that they need to close the gap between the real world and the land of stories so they kind of get separated alex stays behind in the land of stories and connor goes back to live with his mum so book number three is a grim warning <laughs> So in this one we have Alex is trying to do her thing, trying to become a fairy in the land of story. She's in, she's a fairy in training. <laughs> and Connor in the real world has kind of found his thing because he wasn't like the best student ever. But he's found his thing in writing stories. Through his school, him and a couple of other students get the opportunity to go to Germany to basically visit the grave of the Grimms. <laughs> the Brothers Grimm, that is. Because they've dug up this time capsule that apparently they've st stated, like the Grimm brothers had stated that in 200 years you shall open this time capsule and you'll get like three unread stories. <laughs> three new stories. Uh, I don't want to spoil it but it gets kind of awkward for Connor for a little bit because these stories have been heard before as in he's written he's written these stories um <laughs> yeah uh and one of the stories is actually a warning a warning that a <laughs> the, the french army is coming to invade the land of stories in the name of napoleon because you know why not what happened like 200 years ago was that um the grimms kind of tricked this army into going through a portal but this portal would take them 200 years to get to their destination and this was kind of a thing so they'd you know prepare for war but some people forgot about this whole thing so there's that so basically now connor has to get his sister's attention so that he can warn her but um she's hard to contact even though they have this magic mirror which is kind of like facetiming but yeah she's she's a busy little girl she's uh yeah so adventures happen and war you know because why not and then in book number Four, we have Beyond the Kingdoms, in which, get this, Alex and Connor's long-lost uncle, who we meet in uh, the previous book, but I'm not going to say anything more specific than that. So, he's trying to gather his own army, and the way he's going about it is he's going through other well-known stories like the wizard of oz uh robin hood and stuff like that because you know why not and of course alex and connor and the rest of the gang has to stop this dude uh so yeah so maybe you can see the tin man on the cover oh yeah alice in wonderland as well i forgot about that Oopsie. Um, yeah, so they kind of go through the stories after him trying to stop whatever he's doing. Spoilery, um, they don't actually succeed very well. They don't stop him. Not yet, at least. So we're moving on to book number five, which is an author's odyssey. Previously, their uncle had been collecting, you know, war criminals. <laughs> No, he's been trying to collect an army and Connor ha kind of has this idea that well, you know what? Let's do the same thing, but let's go into my stories and collect my heroes to help stop this madness. Because the uncle kind of, mm, well, he kind of made deals with some of the other villains and they don't just want to take over the land of stories. 
they want to take over the other world, which is the real world for us. So now they are gathering their heroes. The thing though with his stories is that his stories is, is based on, you know, his friends. So some characters will look the same. This would be hilarious to watch as a movie. I'm not gonna lie because <laughs> there'd be so many familiar faces being like, I recognize you from somewhere. So at the same time, while well, all that is going on, the villains, the evil witches and such have also put a curse on Alex because Alex is kind of the big deal. She has a lot, a lot, a lot of magic in her and she's very powerful. So they're going to use her and <laughs> the way they use her is by cursing her so that uh, she basically thinks that everything that's good is actually evil and vice versa. So they are using her as a puppet to take over the other world, which we don't like. We don't want that, do we? No. So moving on to book number six, which is Worlds Collide. So in this one, there's a big show off. Yeah. There's a big thing but will it will it stop or not so this book actually starts off way in the future when connor is 80 years old and he's like in this was a bookshop he's in a bookshop i believe it was having this like reading and signing for his like anniversary of his books because he apparently became this very well-known author Wow. <laughs> and wrote all these books, some of which were called Land of Stories, among other things. Hmm, Chris Colfer, are you, uh, have you written yourself in as Connor, perhaps? I wonder. While at this reading signing thing, one of the kids asks him, whatever happened to your sister? Because she kind of just disappeared. So rewinding back to the present day, we kind of start where we left off in the previous book. So Connor is trying to help Alex. He's trying to save her because, yeah, he doesn't want to kill his sister, does he? But at the same time, Alex is, you know, kind of dream walking because it's the only time she has some power that's her. Like, she's herself. And so she's kind of dream walking and giving like hints that Connor, you need to kill me or I'm going to destroy everything. So yeah, we're like kind of left in the middle of things. It's really one of those, does Alex die or does she, like what happens to Alex? Yeah, what happens to Alex? Do they save the world? They obviously save the world in some form because Connor is 80 in the beginning, but like, how do they save the world? That is the big question. Yeah. I had such a good time reading these books that honestly... So, the beginning of the first one, it was like the first two chapters, I feel it was. They were... They weren't badly written, but they were kind of not written in the best way. It was kind of, well, let's just say they were, it wasn't great. <laughs> so I was a bit like, Oof, is this going to be what the whole series is? No, <laughs> it actually changes. It's like someone wrote the first two chapters and then just change personality. I don't know. Um, or like learn how to write. I'm sorry, Chris Colfer. I don't mean to be rude but there you go not that you're gonna watch this but you know i had the best time there's such an easy read okay yeah they're middle grade books middle grade but virgin on ya but middle grade uh so yeah they should be very easy to read but not all <laughs> middle grade books are easy to read some are hella boring and just what even is this trash? These were so good. They're like action packed. They're funny. So if you like fairy tales retellings, 
definitely pick these up and you know just pick them up anyway because yeah uh, I think that's all I really have to say I can't say too much I want to say so much more but I'm gonna just spoil everything and tell you exactly what happens from page one to however many pages there are in these books put together so yeah thank you so much for watching uh, I'll see you next time. Take care. Oh, bye-bye.